Hello everyone, my name is Brie, and I am so excited to share this project with you where I turn this odd-shaped room into my dream closet. So we live in a story and a half bungalow, and the ceilings are slanted, and so we have this little bedroom off our bedroom, and it served as a beautiful little nursery for our children for so many years. I've made so many memories there, and it was just the perfect little room. So now that my youngest moved downstairs with her sisters, I had an extra room to spare. So I'm trying to throw around ideas about what I want it to be, so maybe a storage closet or an office or craft room. And then I realized my closet was so tight, I couldn't even really see what I had. And I really only wore like 10% because it was so tight. So I decided I wanted a walk-in closet. So the problem was the ceilings are angled as I mentioned and so I didn't know how I was going to install a closet rod and then I found these brackets and so when I saw that that could be done I decided to start the project. Here's one last look of this room as a nursery. So many different emotions. I was ready to move on but this has been such a sweet little room for us. The only thing I saved was the crib. Everything else I just gave away. I was actually pretty impressed that it wasn't dirtier than what it actually was. With four kids, walls get so dirty in my home and one of my best friends are magic racers. I have this super cool trick to finding studs. It's called try everything you can and then in the end you just drill a thousand holes in your wall. I did so many different tricks with magnets and stud finders and I just could not find the rafters. But once I did find it, it was pretty simple just to measure and then find the next one right away. I kind of just guessed where I wanted to hang it based on the length of one of my longest dresses. I decided to set the middle one first. So I just marked my holes, made sure it was nice and level. So in order to actually get your drill bit around it, you have to disassemble it. You also will need to get a, an extension bit holder for your drill. I didn't have one, so I, I knocked on my neighbor's door and he let me borrow his. But then I went and got my own set and I've used it so many different times for different things. It's a great thing to have. This bracket was so easy to use. I love the fact that there were so many different adjustments for the angle of your ceiling. It was just super simple. My kids were home for summer break, so I put them to work. My son is always really helpful. If I have something to lift or hold up, he's really great to come in and help me. Plus, he's just a sweetheart and I love spending time with him. Setting the next bracket was pretty easy since I already knew where the rafter was. I just needed to make sure the closet rod was nice and level and then I marked my holes. I love using laser levels. It makes everything so much easier. I was really happy with the height of it and now I'm ready to get the shelf and also the shelving for below it. I brought along extra help for all the heavy lifting. So I found out that this laminate wood from Lowe's from Project Source was actually cheaper than buying wood and finishing it. And so I just went ahead with that and it worked out great. I love how everything is an adventure when you're a kid. Of course, I decided to go pick up these boards after I had filled my whole car up with furniture that I just got, but thankfully it was able to fit. These brackets are super cheap and I've used them for shoe shelving in my kids' room and I love them so much. They're just really easy to use and really strong. I just stacked them right on top of each other and I really liked the distance between the shelves so that worked out really great and was really easy. I love when I get little visitors. She snuck away from her daddy to come spend time with me. Being a perfectionist, I just wanted to make sure everything was perfectly straight before I drilled the bores into the brackets. And then I just marked the holes and then took the board off and drilled it that way. It was so much easier. When I have to limit myself to only drilling a specific depth, I like to use a piece of tape 
and put it on the drill bit and then watch and then whenever it reaches that point then I stop and it works out so good that way I don't over drill. I accidentally picked up a pack of flatheads instead of Phillips and it wasn't working with the screwdriver but then I couldn't handle it so I went back and got regular screws. I don't even know why they make flatheads anymore. Then I marked and pre-drilled the shelves for on top of the closet rod as well. The helpers were back just in time to help me with the heaviest piece. This side of the shelving was completely flush. There wasn't even a half inch to spare. It worked out perfectly. And then before I cleaned up, I had to patch all of the holes that I made. I've never had velvet hangers before, so I just got them in and I was so excited to try them out. But first I need to finish up by cleaning and getting all the dust out and then touching up the paint. The last hard thing I have left to do is replace the light fixture before I can start bringing everything in. But other than that, it's pretty much done. So now that I have all the hard parts done, I am ready to put on the finishing touches. And in part two of this video, I will show you how you do that as well as my big reveal. I'll also tell you at the end how much this project cost. In the meantime, if you would like to guess how much you think this project costs, feel free to put it in the comments below. And while you're there, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss out on part two of the series. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye.